We've looked in the past at the fast frequency advantages of using braided super line, but they're not all created equally. Let's compare. Here are some lines that I use regularly and recommend. What they all have in common is that they're all made of combined fibers of a durable thermoplastic called polyethylene. It's the same thing they weave together to make bulletproof vests. First, let's look at the Power Pros. Both the regular and Super Slick 8 are American made from polyethylene fibers they call Spectra fibers. Both are great for jigging. The difference between the two is that the standard Power Pro has four strands woven together while Super Slick is made from eight smaller and chemically treated strands. The Super Slick is rounder and softer. It's quieter through your guides and it casts better, but the big trade-off is in durability because it isn't as abrasion resistant as the original Power Pro. Spider Wire was one of the best braided lines to hit the market when it came out and it's still a solid choice. Here I have the original Spider Wire Stealth and the upgraded Ultra Cast. Like Power Pro, the original uses four strands while the Ultra Cast is woven with eight. They call the polyethylene material they use Dyneema. The Ultra Cast is better of the two. But once again, it's less durable and a little bit more prone to tip wraps and wind knots. Spider wire is usually less expensive than Power Pro. I use it in heavier pound tests when I'm punching pads or fishing in heavy cover. Next up is Fireline Crystal. When Fireline first came out, it was the top of its class. Unlike most super lines, Fireline is fused polyethylene instead of braided. That gives it a different feel. You'll notice it right away because it comes off the spool a little stiffer and with more memory. Those characteristics aren't the best for bait casters, but they're perfect for spinning gear because the line won't jump off the spool by itself and it resists tangles. It's great in smaller pound tests for panfish. Finally, suffix 832. The 8 stands for 8 strands of fiber, 7 of which are Dyneema and the 8th is Gore, like in Gore-Tex. It makes the line extremely strong and very smooth. The trade-off is that the line sinks instead of floating on top of the water like most braid. It's a superior line and my very favorite for jigging, but it's not always the best in applications where you need to see your line float on top of the water. As a quick word of caution, it's usually best to steer clear of store brands and the less expensive off-brands of braid. The reason for that is the cheaper fibers become waterlogged very quickly, and this can cause it to be dull and unresponsive. Good luck choosing the Super Braid line that's best for you. Now let's go fishing. Yeah.